All right. In this video, I want to talk about Solomon, the coming Antichrist. Yes, this video, uh, this picture is a bit ridiculous, but I was trying to just look for something like Solomon, and I didn't find a good picture, so I put Solomon Antichrist. Didn't find a good picture, and I saw this, and I was like, you know what? This might catch some people's eyes, get some their attention, and they might check it out just because of this weird stuff here. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I was reading through First Chronicles, and as I was getting to chapter 22, I was seeing more connection to Solomon being a picture of the Antichrist. You see, David is the beloved representing Jesus. And Jesus came as the king of the Jews, and he was rejected. So the one that comes after him would be Solomon. Right? His son, as Lucifer at one time was, the son of God. Right? A created being. And Solomon was the one to build the temple. David wanted to, but it was going to be Solomon who did it. And that's very interesting because David prepared the building of the temple. All the wood, stone, gold, and precious metals, and all these other things to build the temple. Yet he never actually built it. He just prepared it to be built. And today... We have the Jews doing just that. They're preparing the building of the temple. Getting the stones and wood. And they're building all the supplies and everything they would need to construct the temple. And from what I understand, it would just take them a couple months to build it. They just need the actual time and uh, protection. To actually build it and maybe even the, the removal or destruction of the dome of the mosque from the Temple Mount to be able to do that and at the end of the dispensation that might actually be what happens I think the dome on the Mount is actually a depiction of the time of the Gentiles and I think a depiction of the time of the Gentiles ending would be the destruction of the Dome of the Mosque on the Temple Mount there. And that's letting you know as a symbol that the dispensation has changed. Right? And then they will end up building the actual temple. But I think it's the Antichrist who will come in and start trying to bring some kind of peace along. And he'll be the one to establish building the temple there. Because he's acting as Solomon. All right? Solomon was blessed with all this wisdom and knowledge. And he was clothed with all these jewels and precious stones. He was glorious, just like Lucifer was described. But he fell. And so did Solomon. And went into all this pagan idolatry, all this crazy stuff. And we're going to end up seeing that same thing with the Antichrist. Right? Comes in, seems to be full of wisdom and knowledge, setting up the temple of God. And then he's going to fall away from that, right? And what was a big thing of Solomon's fall? Well, he had something like 700 wives and a thousand concubine, or it was something like 300 wives and 700 concubine to equal a thousand. But it was a lot of women. And you see, they were pagan, and they ended up bringing in their pagan ideologies. What's that a symbol of? Well, the Antichrist comes at the opening of the sixth seal in Revelation chapter 6. 
he's going around conquering the conquer. But we're also told that how he's conquering is with that bow that has no arrows, that he's doing it by flatteries with these peace treaties. So he's able to woo in everybody. Just like Solomon, he kept making the covenants with the other nations by marrying their princesses. Right? Well, this Antichrist is going to be doing that same thing. And because of that, he's going to end up having to mix the ideologies of the the Muslims and the Catholics and the Orthodox and the Jews and whatever's left of the, the Protestants. And then there's the Hindus and the Buddhists and the other religions. And he's going to have to try to bring them all together. Right? And because of that, fall away. Right? And that's exactly what happened with Solomon, right? So we see a depiction of the Antichrist with Solomon. And I, th I think I've heard some people mentioning it in passing, but I never heard anybody really get into it. So I figured I'd make this video, get people thinking about it. Maybe they put their two cents to it. But anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching and take care.